Oh, hello guys um, welcome to our channel so today i'm going to take you through this video uh, which is basically a continuation of the video which we initially posted on the introduction to cobra toolbox uh, which showed you guys how to create the form and uh, deploy it through the link but on this one uh, we are going to look at an alternative uh, where you deploy the form uh, to your mobile phones and then you can then use the offline method or even online to collect the data from your mobile phones either android or iphone we're going to cover both those here um so basically we're going to start from where we left on that video and then we'll see how we can then uh, deploy the forms to our mobile phones and then how then we can set up the application on our mobile phones and collect the data then send it back here where we will be able to see the results all right so uh <clears throat> without missing without wasting much of your time uh, I will then get to it here. So uh, to deploy to the mobile phone, here yeah, uh, you will need to come and select uh, the option uh, which we can use the Android application here. All right. So if we select this uh, option here, then uh, it will tell you what you then need to do on the Android application so uh it's been, then it's very simple so now uh, we are going to look uh, at how we can then use the android then later on uh the iphone all right all right now we are on our android phone and uh to download the application you're going to come to play store and uh search for kobo toolbox all right so you can just search kobo collect like this and then the application will pop up then you install all right then uh, just wait for it to install so after the app is finished installing then uh, we're going to open the application all right and after uh, opening it uh, here uh, we want to actually uh, manually enter project details all right so on the url we are going to enter the link uh, which we saw uh, previously on the web page when we said we want to deploy to the android application which is https um, right, you can basically just copy and paste this one but uh, yeah i'm going to write it just as it is Oh, to org all right then on the username and password uh we are actually going to use uh, the details that you use to log in online on your web browser so here i'm just going to use uh this one <clears throat> and then i'm going to put my password so yeah after you you've completed this uh, okay so after you've completed this it will bring you here and uh here you actually see these options uh, start new form drafts ready to send send download form delete form all right so the first thing you will need to do is to download the form which you actually want to fill in because like the 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 account who may be you have uh, more forms that have been deployed like this one has got like uh, this is it, three or four forms so uh actually we can just say we actually want to look at this one right now the COVID effects then uh, we say get selected all right so this will now download the form to the mobile phone application okay so now we can access this here so to fill in the form right now you are in the field you want to fill in the form you go and start new form then you will find it here actually so you just open it and then uh, next you put the details used. now you're in the field you're filling uh, in the form uh, going on like this all right so this one has been validated so let's just put 25 oh, 15 to 20 actually oh, so let's just put 20 <clears throat> next then uh, you can put in uh, fill in the form so i'm just going to run through this one uh, quickly then okay now we are at the end of the form then you then uh, you can save as draft if you do not want to finalize uh, 
the results. Maybe you are not sure of some of the details you've put in, then maybe you just want to come back sometime and then edit and then finalize. But if you are sure, uh, you can simply finalize here and then the form will be saved. But here it is saved uh, in your mobile phone here on ready to send, okay? But then maybe you realize, uh, no, you now don't want to send this form. You can actually come to delete form and delete uh, the one which ones which, which you want to, to delete. For example, this one, the one which we have put, you want to delete it, you, don't, you no longer want to send it. You can simply delete it from here. So yeah, basically, <clears throat> uh, it's, th this is how you are going to do it. And then uh, maybe if you have finished uh, collecting your forms in the field, then now uh, you have internet connection and want to send uh, the form back to the online portal to your account online. So you can then come here and say send selected. Then this will automatically uh, send the results to the online account, just like that. And uh, so, and it will come here on the send. This is where you see uh, the the recordings which you have actually sent. So, <clears throat> and if you had saved uh, a form is dropped, for example, here yeah, uh, we had started. Uh, we can start. And maybe we have not finished. Uh, we can actually just save as draft. So here, yeah, uh, if you save as draft, it simply means you may be able to come back later uh, and continue with the form. And here, yeah, this one is go to end, which you go where you can see uh, everything like in the form. Then you can choose to go back to start, go back to the end, or select a specific question which you want to uh, put a result for. All right, then. Here, yeah, uh, we do check for it as well. You think it automatically does when there are validation procedures, all right? So, uh, okay, let me just finish up this. Then if you save it as draft like this, you will be able to find it here on the drafts where you can actually, uh, where you can actually uh, go back to the form and edit it before sending, all right? So basically this is the overview of the Android application. Uh, which you can use to then collect forms in the field. And you can collect as much as you want before sending. For example, now I can come and start on a new form uh, and fill in a new form. Next. 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 Like this, then you finalize. So you can actually have uh, more responses being ready to send. We can come in here to the draft and then uh, finalize it. Um, okay, I think we have not filled this one. So you can then come back to the drafts, fill in the drafts. Oh, I keep getting that wrong. Okay, next. Yeah. Next. Yeah, next, this one will fill next. Then we can what? We can finalize the forms. So here we can see that we have like two forms ready to be sent. So you can collect as much as you can before sending them. All right. Then when you are ready to send after collecting, then you can just simply come here, then tick all of them, then click send, and then uh, the results will be uploaded online. So basically that is all from Android. And now let's go and see how we do it uh, on the Android or on the iOS, which is uh, a bit different from what we have seen here. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so now to collect the data using an iPhone, uh, well, we want to come to iStore and then you're going to search for GIC Collect. All right. So you're going to search for that application, uh, which is right here. Then we want to download that application. All right. So just let it download and then install. Uh, then after downloading, uh, we open the application. So this is basically what it looks like here. Uh, this is the interface of the application. But then to access your form uh, from Kobo 2 box, you need to come here on the settings icon at the top. And then uh, here we are going to select Kobo 2 box from this list here, which is right here, right? So when you select Kobo 2 box, this one, it automatically puts in the link uh, that we saw uh, when we previously ended on the on the Android. So here on the username now, you are going to then put your login details uh, for the account which you use to create the form which you want to deploy here. So here um, we are just going to put in uh, our account here. 
and the password just like that and then you're going to say okay all right so then it will now connect to the server and then uh access the forms all right so now to get the forms from online uh we we'll just like we did on android uh we we'll first come to get blank form here uh this one we don't get blank form then uh okay so the thing with this one gic collect it actually is uh adverts so you meet a lot of ads uh, when you are not subscribed so but you just have to cope with that and go uh, so now uh, it will show the uh, the forms which have created in that particular account and now we just want this COVID efforts uh, to download and then it's the one which you're going to use in this so after this it will have downloaded so then you come back here and then say fill blank form so you select fill blank form it will be available from this side and then you can just open and actually start filling in okay so please uh forgive me for the ads uh, now uh you can then just uh, start filling in like going on like this uh next uh next just like that just like we did uh basically on the android phone uh they won't be much differences from here then now uh, this is the end of the form so mark form is finalized by default so now we can just save the form and exit so <clears throat> after filling the form well, uh, then you will have to come back maybe you have enough there is all of the responses you want uh, yeah you can actually edit maybe you want to make some corrections um all right sorry let me just change to this uh, so to make corrections, you can then come back here and then uh, make the changes. And after making the changes, maybe you don't really want to go through the rest of it. You can uh, press here and see all of your responses, then go to end. And after coming to end, you can then save the form and exit. Just like that. All right, I think we have more of this at this. So uh, let's just cop. Then uh, you can then come back here and then to send the finalized forms, you use the send finalized form, uh, just like we did in Android. Uh, this is where you come and select the forms which you want to send the, the results back uh, to the online server. So uh, you can select here and then click uh, send the selected. All right, so here on wave one, so you can see we send it. And after sending uh, it to show this blue cloud icon here that this has been sent successfully all right then uh, what you can do else is or at least say we have put uh, another blank form here all right um let's fill in this one uh, just randomly and get to where we want to get to business salary no then okay this, this is actually the end okay maybe before the end you can actually use this icon here to just save uh, the results that you have uh, ended so far and here just doing okay uh, all right this better me all right then uh, you can then just uh, save form and exit all right let's wait for it all right so after filling the forms maybe you then uh one don't want to send maybe some particular forms and you want to delete them you can actually come here and say uh, no i want to delete this uh, so this will show you the forms that you have the send and the unsend both they are here so you can then choose to say ah uh, no i want to delete uh this one uh, which i first sent or even the send one you can still go on and delete all right so this is where you just uh, delete the results that you no longer want and then uh, you can also view what you have sent here so these are the forms that we've sent and you can view uh, whatever was in the forms that you have sent so yeah i think uh, this is basically uh, the overview of how you can then use this uh, iphone application to collect and send back your data all right so I think maybe this is coming to an end of this video and guys thank you very much for watching uh we really appreciate this uh if this was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you very much